So we'll look to see guys like Jadson Andre, Caio Abelli, Leo Firavante, and Kelly Slater bounce back at Bells Beach. Felipe Toledo, the headliner here for what he's achieved in a short period of time. He'll take on Soli Bailey, rookie representing Byron, but recently making the move up to Burley Head. So he's uh, sleeping at home, just whipping down the point and putting the jersey on for his rookie debut. So we'll see all these newcomers get used to that format. It's uh, pretty easy to follow once you see it get underway. And looks like we might get our first wave of Friday morning. Soli Bailey breaking free to start off with this wrapping cutback. Layback draw off the top on the second effort. Ton of speed on the inside. Flows that reverse beautifully for the landing. New start here for him. First turn. Nice little swoop back into the power source. Nice and low off the bottom. Showing the judges some variety. Another little slashing turn there. Building his speed. Some nice little air reverse. Let's have a look. Connecting nicely with the lip. No grab. Wasn't super high. Wasn't super critical. But it was a completed ride. And I think that's the important part of that uh, whole scenario. So much variety as well. And I think the big thing you mentioned there, Potts, is holding his composure after being in the headspace of Toledo at the start of the heat. Bigger one out the back for Toledo. He'll pick his back end towards the break wall. Ends up trying to knife that first section and Toledo gets stuck on his opening ride. Advantage solely now that he's hearing a 6-1-7 for his opener. Now looking at an opportunity for Soli Bailey. Setting up his first turn through the whitewater. Deeper off the bottom, there comes the down carve wrap. He'll get a little bit stuck in the whitewater. He's not going to like how that one felt coming out of that whitewater section, but two turns, that'll be his second scoring ride for the time being with 25 on the clock. Soli Bailey now setting up wave number three. Clean front side arcing turn, laying that rail into the open face. You love that rail work that's done with such precision and style. It looks like he's lucking into another opportunity. He'll just roll right in, Bailey, with plenty of room. Another version of a clean off the top carve. Wraps it in the pocket and will just sort of fit one in over the whitewater. So staying really active, trying to really improve on a 2.67 on the, those last two rides. Before we went to break, Soli got two quick waves. This is a 4-1-7, that's his keeper at the moment. Yeah, beautiful turn there. Cut it a little short, I thought, but he needed to finish that wave off, put another good score on the board. When it was a top 45 in the world, so Ace is uh, re-qualified through a lot of changes in surfing. Soli Bailey wrapping cutback, stops that one short for a little two for one finish. Also rolling in on this one, Soli Bailey. Yeah, Soli's found a groove. I mean, he's been catching a lot of waves, and traditionally what happens out here at Duramba, when you catch a lot of waves, you're going to find yourself. Felipe has to get started. Toledo, the 2015 event champ, famous for being the best high-performance surfer in the world, will now carve his way through the last couple of points on this wave to get his best wave so far. Then Felipe's wave, first turn. Nice and clean, this wave kind of went a little flat, Joe, so we're not going to see this go super high. But just a good wave to get going for Felipe Toledo. Really needed that. Increases his lead a little bit over Felipe. Toledo now pulls in under the hood. Quick barrel ride, and he'll just hop out. That didn't hurt him at all. He surfed incredible. Felipe, these are the little Durambar specials right here. Little tube ride. Needed to finish that though, Joe. I think he needed something at the end of the follow those eyes. And when you follow those eyes, John John Florence is devastating. I think John has gills as well. Watching that, just a quick one for Soli Bailey. Soli and Felipe are down to five and a half minutes on the clock. Had he completed that last maneuver, it was going to be another seven plus ride. 4.60 on that occasion though. Driving through this inside corner with some speed. Soli up and out. Just trying to stay hot. He's got an 11.5 combined total. A guy that's been in the title race the last few seasons. Toledo rolling down the line. Big fan, aggressive, searing carve through the open face. Beautiful gouge and drills the fins out the back to finish. That's better. Toledo's best wave so far down to 425 on the clock. 
Khan is at 289. <laughs> Let's watch this. Toledo. Yeah, beautiful wrapping maneuver from Felipe. Jams it in the pocket again. Beautiful variety. And then kicks the tail out at the end of that one. I think that's the best way of, of the heat for uh, Felipe Toledo. He's just extending that back leg. You can see the fins popping out. And he draws nice and deep off the bottom again to get that second maneuver right in the pocket, right in the power source. His timing on this occasion was absolutely perfect. On all three of those maneuvers, super critical. Toledo up again, big gouge in the guts of the wave. Belts the finish. He is heating up in a short period of time. But down to 40 seconds, Soli Bailey, the rookie under pressure to perform here. It's gonna be Toledo again. Wrap into the pocket, fin throw on the snap, lay back, extend the slide on the closeout. He'll let go of that move, but you can tell he's having a blast out there, Pot. Now looking for the effort to come back. Soli Bailey eating at least a 7-7-7. And the rookie's running out of room on the inside of Perform. Served a smart heat against Toledo, knowing he had a, one of the event favorites to win.